How's it going, everybody? My name is Lindsay Gardner, and I am at the Louisville Slugger Hitting Science Center. And today, I'm going to show you the hammer drill. A hammer drill is going to be used to help us improve our extension through the ball prior to rolling over. Um, and so what we're going to have to do is really learn how to rotate our upper body. And we can do that a few ways, but I'm going to begin with my lower half being taken out of the equation. Okay, so I see a lot of extension drills at times where players are facing the plate and then it's just kind of a that kind of thing right there. And it, it's, it's like, what I want you to do is think about where you want this ball to land prior to setting up to hit this. I don't want you to just do hammer drill to do hammer drill. I want you to hit the gap that you're aiming for using hammer drill. So what is hammer drill? First, you gotta think about how a hammer is used. Think about these door knocking knuckles right here. If I was to hold a nail and hammer something, it would be the door knocking knuckles or the hammer knuckles that would be driving the bat. So you can see how my knuckles are in line with my arm here and how the bat is in line with my arm. It's not like this leading with the flat piece of my hand. A lot of times I see hitters get up here like this, and this is great grip if you're trying to go opposite field. But if you're trying to pull the ball, we want to get, we, we got to turn harder and keep the bat from rolling over. So one, one way we do that is line up both door knocking or both hammer knuckles, right? So if I would hammer like this and like this, then I want to use those same knuckles to hammer together. And you notice I'm not breaking down the wall, right? Like if the wall was right here, I'm hitting it to the wall, and that's it. That's what hammer drill is. So basically, we're not going to be extending in this particular drill. We will not be breaking the wall. So how we're going to start is we're going to take our legs out of it and go ahead and face the left center field gap if you're a right-handed hitter. Basically, take your back foot, point your toe to left center field, and take your other foot and kind of turn it towards your right foot, right? What we're gonna do is use our outside leg to turn our body like this and then hammer through. So again, I'm only gonna get this little snap right here in the wall, but it's my rotation that's bringing the snap. So I'm not trying to snap, I'm trying to rotate and then pop the gap, right? So I'm gonna be staring here at the nine spot push my body in position, check my contact. I'm gonna pull my back back with just my wrist and then I'm gonna rotate my upper half back. Now I'm gonna tighten my core, use my leg to turn my body and whip my back shoulder through and that will be my finish. So the end of my back will point exactly where I hit the ball. It's always a nice, nice thing to kind of hold your finish there. Keep a strong finish, keep your, your core tight, your arms tight, all of it, and kind of pose there at the end, and kind of check your, check your balance and your finish. You'll notice when I begin my swing, there's like a and then I, I don't breathe again until I'm finished holding. You gotta think about the core being the glue that holds the, the swing together. One other way you can do this to practice the snap is go ahead and start on the ball. Give three back pumps to it, like one, two, three, go back. One thing to notice is how my front arm is like an extension of my back. It's not above, it's not below, I don't look like this or like that. It's a straight line to the ball from my elbow to the end of the back, and then my back hand's the one bringing the attack. If I wanted to do this going right center, I would still stay pointed left center, and I would rotate my shoulder to right. Looking at the seven spot this time,
Also, uh, I didn't mention that I pulled out a a 30 a 30 inch bat that's like a drop 12. So you want like a baby bat for this drill. You want to choke up. You don't want this to put a ton of pressure on your arms as you stop the bat and hold it there. So the heavier your bat, the longer your bat, the harder it's going to be on your arms. Um, you may be very sore right here in your forearms the first time you practice this drill, maybe the second time, but after that you will be good. So get out there, focus on a spot, and work your hammer drill. If you're ready, if you feel pretty good with your uh, forward facing stance, then go ahead and get into your regular stance. And your focus now is about turning that foot the exact same way it was facing when it was here. Right, so we're trying to get this back foot to bring the shoulder to the ball as I would then drive this through the right center field. So then you just keep it right here on your back shoulder. We're trying to get this foot down and really turn the back foot to bring the back. <laughs> That's the finish on that. Do one to left center. So whenever I say look under the pitch, I mean that my hat is like tilted to where it's like I'm looking at the nine spot and swinging over to the four or even the one. All right? That's better. Anyways, it's a great drill to practice. It really improves your rotation, your back speed, and your exit below. So get out there, aim for your power gaps, and just dig in.